Yeah, um, my name is Tekla. My middle name is Midwife. <laughs> my last name is Ngotie. So my name is uh, Tekla Midwife Ngotie. I am a lecturer here in Kenyatta University, midwifery lecturer. I'm also the chairperson Midwives Association of Kenya. I'm a mother, a daughter, and a friend. Um, allow me also to recognize um, the Secretary Midwives Association, Madam Eunice Atsali, you could just wave. She's the energetic midwife that we expect to, to be an example to all the midwives. Our Midwives Association is an arm, advocacy arm of the association, of the profession, of the midwives. It was established in 2016, bearing in mind midwifery is one of the oldest profession. So we are just a baby in our own profession. It's a non-profit member association registered in Kenya under Societies Act with membership in more than 15 counties right now. And these members comprise of the midwives, friends of the midwives, partners, and all other maternal neonatal um, health stakeholders. The association is an advocacy, advocating an advocacy tool and voice. We advocate for evidence-based midwifery in policy, research, academia, and practice. Midwives Association of Kenya, as we call it, MAK, is mandated to make valuable and relevant contributions towards improving the quality of education in Kenya, other developing contexts, through involvement in policy level decisions, professional standards, guidelines, and scopes of practice, curriculum development in, in influencing middle level and higher level education, and clinical practice in primary health, care provision for spe and, and, special, and also to the specialization levels. In maternity, I know most of you have heard about or you've been there, especially the labor room or the labor ward. It's an environment of energy, needing energetic professionals and hastened. When I talk about energetic, we are talking also about hastened prompt decisions and implementations. So in our association, we work as catalysts to advance, stimulate, strengthen, we want to hasten and scale up. I'm talking about things which are on the move, accelerating strategies and sustainable efforts for response and resilience towards one, investing in midwives who are the primary care providers for mothers and uh, new nets, and also in elimination of preventable maternal and neonatal deaths through impactful interventions. So from my end, why a midwife? Midwives and midwifery has led to healthier, happier families and our communities globally and locally also. Excuse me. And as such, World Health Organization and several United Nations agencies and other international bodies have identified midwives as the key, uh, key in reduction of maternal and neonatal mortalities and morbidities globally. However, according to the State of World Midwifery Report 2021, still there is a shortage of 900,000 midwives around the globe. So that is a very significant figure, knowing that uh, women uh, in, within the reproductive age are on the rise and increasing in numbers. Kenya experiences the same shortage of midwives who are educated, deployed and trained based on the International Confederation of Midwives standards of education and practice. 
This is due to the professional training adopted in Kenya, that is um, an integrative program rendering midwifery component to fall short of the required midwifery competency levels. MAK is committed, therefore, to support collaborative engagement with maternal neonatal health partners, interdisciplinary teams to optimize gains in creating a thriving environment for the midwives and other practitioners to exercise their professional potentials in all professional cultures for growth. Such environment enables the achievement of positive maternal neonatal outcomes and experiences. MAK promotes, supports, professional development, especially competency-based modes for the midwives to meet the dynamic needs of maternal neonatal demands. So such innovations as we have realized this week is um, such as this project, POCUS. It, it is well aligned and it aligns very well with our MAK strategic goal to strengthen professional development by promoting sufficient action research and technology utilization and securing attractive, innovative partners, as we have right now, and uh, partnership programs and friendships, such as these and others. When I talk about innovations, sometimes in our setup, we might think those are very huge machines that need a lot of, um, a lot of brain and, um, and power to be able to utilize. But as we have seen yesterday, we have a very small gadget that can do wonders, very basic, can be used by anybody who can be trained. It takes only five days for us. It took three, two days, actually, a few hours, to be able to bring us to speed, whereby right now you can be able to talk about those terminologies that we can be able to talk about. Trust me, I've been a midwife for 20 years. I've never done ultrasound. I just monitor the baby, just visualizing how the baby is lying and all that but it was very nice for me to be able to exactly see what happens in that territory. We hereby uphold our vision to be a, recogni a recognized midwives association advocating for the midwife's well-being, professional development, and practice. We appreciate the recognition to be part of this process. Thanks to all collaborating partners, remember, each expectant woman, we don't say pregnant women, all expectant women who gives birth, not delivering, we deliver pizza and goods, <laughs> but let's get used to people giving birth. It's a process which brings forth life more dignifiedly. We promise that that woman will have a working partner because they said every expectant woman needs a midwife to work with. So I'm here representing all the midwives in Kenya, giving you my assurance together with my team and collaborating with other multidisciplinary teams to work with the women with all your support. I thank you so much. Thank you.